Here's presenter Carol Vorderman. And morning to you, Carol. Lovely to see you. Um, he was one of your childhood heroes, wasn't he? He absolutely was. I grew up in North Wales in sort of real Prestat in that area, which was like an annex of Liverpool, really. And uh, Ken Dodd was massive. So I was born in 1960, and uh, I, I was very proud to become a Diddy man in the Prestatin Carnival, and I won first prize for that in about 1965 or 1966. The 60s. Today, I've lost part of our childhood, to be honest, because he was so prevalent. You know, you listened to his songs, you sang his songs at home. He was like the uncle that we all wanted, you know, and obviously always made us laugh. But um, I was very lucky in the, you know, the work that I've done, that I met him so many times over the years, and he was always kind of kindly outrageous, but never stopped, you know. If you went to a Doddy gig, you know, it, he always used to say, um, uh, you know, send the, the coach drivers home, because he'd be going for six hours. He would just keep on and on and on and on. You'd be crying enough and you'd be absolutely... We would be exhausted in the audience, never mind him. I mean, they just sound extraordinary, these marathon-long um, marathon um, uh, comedy sessions. Just, um, you were also on This Is Your Life, and I think he left you a message, actually. We'll have a look at it, Carol. It's lovely. I'm watching you watching that. You can still <laughs> see it amuses you. I, when I woke up this morning and I, and I saw the news, and I, I shed quite a few tears this morning, to be honest, because he, he was such... An amazing person, and I don't think there are many like him, to be honest. Um, he was just so kind. Carol Vordman, thank you very much for joining us here on Breakfast this morning. Remember, Kendon. Thank you.